Okay, raise your hand if you can't go to home bargains without buying more than two things. Guilty. <laughs> oh, guys, it's happened again. I went into home bargains last week to just pick up a couple of cleaning products and bath stuff. Do you know just the things that are really affordable? And not to mention, home bargains is always my go-to for cleaning stuff just because they have everything that I need. Um, so, yeah, went there last week. Ended up coming out with two huge bags honestly I haven't been home bargains in the longest time and i feel like this is what always happens when i haven't been there in a long time they get new stock i get dazzled by it all and i end up buying it too so yeah i thought it would only be fair to share with you all my goodies that i got today i absolutely love watching home bargains hauls home bargains pound land and any just sort of like affordable homey cleaning shops just my guilty pleasure to watch on youtube i just love them and i feel like at the moment with us all being stuck in lockdown and you know not really having a lot to look forward to I don't know if this sounds really sad, but just being able to go somewhere other than a supermarket is something that I do look forward to, um, even if I am buying cleaning products. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm just going to shut up and get straight on in because we've got a lot to get to. So if you want to see what's in home bargains at the moment and what I've picked up, then please continue watching. Okay, so we're going to first of all just start off with like the essential items that I actually went in there for. So for me, home bargains is always that place that I like to go to when I need a bit of a stock up on cleaning products. Because number one, I find that a lot of their cleaning products are actually cheaper than supermarkets and number two they just have more variety and more choice um, and there's a lot of things in there that I can't get in supermarkets so first couple of things I picked up number one is the Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover I honestly rave about this all the time it is the best thing for carpet um, even in your car do you know if you've got seats that have stained up and have a few marks on I've used this on my seats before it is just so good for getting stains out and um, they do do a pet one too I don't actually like the smell of the pet one as much um, but yeah so I just got the OG original one. The next thing I picked up was just simply some Star Drops white vinegar spray. Honestly, this is just a cleaning covered essential. You can use it for so many different things. It always comes in handy. Um, so yeah, I'd run out. So I picked another bottle up of that. Um, then I also just picked up some swing bin liners, vanilla fragrance. Honestly, girls, I'm an absolute nightmare for buying bin liners because every time I buy them from the supermarket, I always get it wrong and I end up coming home, putting my bin liner on and it's like half a size, miniature. Um, you'd think I'd actually know how many litres like high my bin is by now, but I don't. So I've now clarified that my bin is actually 50 litres. So if I ever do buy them from the supermarket now, I know. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Okay, next thing from Home Bargains. If you are looking for the best, yes, I said it, the best air freshener for your bathroom, then look no further. This is one pound one pound and honestly guys it is the best air freshener you will ever experience for your bathroom so it is the airwick fresh water freshener they do these in so many different scents i have picked up the oh fresh water scent duh. uh looks like this and basically all you do is you lift out the lid like this so you obviously just want to hide it somewhere i just pop it behind one of my photo frames leave it on the side and oh my god i can smell it already it is insane now the reason why this one is the best is because i find that the scent lasts for absolutely ages the other bathroom air freshener ones i like are those little oh the little round ones that you just click and again they last for about three or four weeks i think before the smell starts to go but the reason why this one's so good is because you can keep like putting it back into the water and then putting it back up and the scent's still there does that make sense so yeah i really feel like these ones last for absolute ages and they're a pound they're so cheap so yeah i really recommend the bowls okay next up i just picked up simply some more bath soap um imperial leather is normally my go-to i like any of the scents really they all smell nice but on this occasion i was really drew to the calming um label on it it says calming bath soap and it is in moonlight skies and white cashmere i think it smells quite nice too mmm it smells really it smells really calm and is that even a thing do you know when you just smell something and it smells like really sparry and just pure relaxation vibes so yeah i believe this was like less than a pound um and i'm also not irritated to these either guys i feel like i can be irritated to quite a lot of bath things and um, whereas this i'm never irritated i'm never itchy or anything so yeah i really like that i also just picked up a hand wash this is the vanilla and macadamia cocoon hand wash is how it's called um oh my god this smells divine oh my god i have this in my hand soap dispenser at the moment and yeah it just smells so good whenever i've had people around pre-covid um, and they've gone to like use my hand soap they're like oh my god what is in your hand soap and i think this is like atp or something and obviously you get a big thing 
so yeah i really really rate that then i just picked a restock up of my favorite hairspray which is the tresemme number four in the pink one i adore this hairspray if you've been here since the beginning i have been using it since the beginning and i've never changed hairspray for me this is just that hairspray that always holds like curls or whatever styling you're doing in your hair but it's not crispy it doesn't have a horrible smell it's just my fave guys i've been using it forever so yeah i think that's about three pounds then i just topped up on some more things i needed for my medicine basket again home bargains is always the place to stock up on things like this because it's so much cheaper than supermarkets number one is cold sore cream you guys know i'm prone to cold sores so it's just always good to have some of this in the cupboard i like to use this when i first get a cold sore so if I can feel my lips tingling, I'll whack this on and normally it won't develop. But if it has already developed, then I normally just go in with a course of Aclibor tablets um, that you get prescribed by your doctor. And then also I'll use things like tea tree oil and stuff just to dry it out. But this is great for when you're like, oh my God, have I got a cold sore coming on my lip? I can feel it tingling. I will then wax some of this on. And it's 99p from Home Bargains. But guys, the original like Zavirax cream is like £8, I swear. Um, and it's not even as good as this. So yeah, definitely recommend that for 99p. Then I just picked up some hay fever and allergy tablets as you guys know i'm allergic to my cats so i have to take these every single day else i will be an absolute mess red eyes itchy sneezy just not a good look then i also picked up some blocked nose relief right because i can't even know what's going on with me at the moment but i'm really struggling with a blocked nose i've not got a cold or anything i'm just yeah struggling at night especially really struggling to breathe and then when i wake up in the morning i'm all blocked up so i thought i'd get some of this and try it again it was like 99p We'll see if that works um, and then i just simply picked up some more paracetamols because i mean you never know when you're gonna get a headache so yeah that is my medical supply stocked up on next i just picked up some more dental floss if you don't floss then do because honestly guys so much of your food builds up in between your teeth that you don't even realize and what a toothbrush can't actually get to so yeah flossing is essential then i picked up some tissues now you'll see what this is for in a minute but this was literally like 70p i think um, and i also picked up a lint roller this again was like 60 something p i've already been using it as you can see but you can never have too many lint rollers when you've got pets okay so that is the sort of like cleaning and just random stuff that i actually went into home bargains for now we have some things that i didn't really need but i ended up picking up anyway and first up we have these what i needed these for and why i got them i do not know but i just could not resist these so this one was 99 pence and this was 2.99 so four pound for both of them i was like oh my god i just need them in my life i don't actually know what i need them for i don't know what i'm going to use them for yet but i did need them so yeah as you can see they're just two glass jars with this sort of like leopard print print on and they're in like a brown i don't even know guys but for four pounds for the both of them i just thought i had to get them i thought i could find a place for them somewhere i mean i could put one on my desk and put like a cute little tea light in and um, you could use one for like putting your makeup brushes in or again you could put another candle in you could use them both as candle holders actually oh my god you could even put like faux flowers in this one because it's quite big um but yeah i just thought they were an absolute bargain and also H&M have one very very similar to this one on there at the moment which is like double the price so I feel like that's what drew me as well like when I saw these straight away I was like oh my god H&M have this <laughs> it's like triple the price so I need to get both okay next up for random things that I didn't need but I bought anyway we have this mirrored tissue box guys how stunning is this I believe this was 3 99 that's what I'm gonna say I know it was really inexpensive anyway um but yeah how expensive does this look it's just simply a mirrored tissue box it doesn't have a bottom on so what you do is you just buy your box of tissues that's why I bought this and then you just Pass it over so it's just simply a tissue box cover so you know from your standard little crappy <laughs> tissue box to a nice mirrored glass one i just think that is so pretty um and i do actually already have one of these in black from amazon which i swear i paid about eight or ten pound for it so yeah an absolute bargain in comparison um you could put this on your coffee table you could put this in your office on the side in your dressing room even on the side in your bedroom actually as well that'd be really nice i feel like there's so many places you could put this um but yeah i love that so i picked that up then i also picked up this little gold tray so as you guys know i don't really have a lot of gold in my house but i do have gold sort of accessories in my office so i have black and gold but anyway i came across this little mirrored tray it was actually in the sort of like mother's day section they've got a lot of mother's day stuff in there at the moment if you haven't already been in um and yeah i just thought this would look really nice in my office i thought i could put this on the side and like decorate it maybe with like a candle um, a reed diffuser or something 
So yeah, again, was something I didn't really need, but I just thought for $3.99, that would look really cute. I just spruce up the office a little bit. Just sometimes when you just get bored of looking at the same things every day, so you just buy something else to change it up. That is me all over. Okay, then next up I picked up a new Minky. I actually did need a new Minky, and they have these Valentine's Day sort of like limited edition ones out at the moment. They did do these last year, um, and I just love these. They're really girly. I might pick up a couple actually. So yeah, not a lot to say about a Minky. I think this was $2.50. So grab that. Okay, next up we just picked up another pack of ice cube bags. Just to make your own ice cubes at home. If you've never had any of these, then I don't even know. Mitchell was actually so fascinated by these. Like, he never had come across these in his life. So if you don't know what they are, which I feel like I'm actually being silly showing you these. But if you don't, they're just a bag. You fill it up with your water at the tap. Pop it in your freezer and you've got ice cubes. I just think they're brilliant. Um, just saves you having to buy ice. I mean, who wants to buy ice? You can just make it yourself. So yeah, picked up some of those. Then the next thing I picked up was some slow cooker liners. It is definitely slow cooker season and I love to make a good old stew. Um, and my sister-in-law actually told me about these in Home Bargains because the one thing about using your slow cooker is, you guys will probably relate, the mess after of cleaning it. <laughs> It's a bit annoying um so yeah these were literally like 70p and you get five liners pop it in your slow cooker and you've not got to do all the cleaning after so yeah they're brilliant okay and then next up for exciting purchases from home bargains storage organizing labels i mean who knew that home bargains did storage organizing labels because i definitely didn't so as you guys know i love organizing i love everywhere being neat in my drawers and i love putting stickers on everything i already have one of them little label makers but these are just on a whole other level. I mean, I know you can buy these from Etsy and there's other different sellers on Instagram that do these. I think they have them proper like label printers. But anyway, to cut the story short, Home Bargain sell these. I'm not too sure how well you're going to be able to see them. They did them either in silver or rose gold. I mean, I don't know if they do any other colours, but that's all that was available in mine. Um, and yeah, I picked up three packs. These are all different. But on this sheet, we have cloths, cleaning sprays. So three large labels. And then there is six small ones, all saying the same thing. And then on this one, we have bathroom, kitchen, laundry. Again, three large ones, three small ones, all saying the same thing. And then on this one, we have hair, nails, skincare. And again, just same concept. The big ones at the bottom, the small ones at the top. So yeah, I just thought these were so good. They were only like 79p, I think, for each pack. So yeah, as I love organising and labelling everything up so much, thought I would grab those. Okay, next up, Valentine's Day. So Home Bargains are starting, have started to put out all their Valentine's stock now. They were actually in the process of like rearranging it when I was there. So I didn't get to have like a good look at everything. Um, but I just picked up two things. So I picked up some heart confetti. And then I also picked up these hanging honeycomb paper hearts. I feel like this year because we are all stuck inside can't go out on like a nice date night or anything valentine's day i really want to do something special just to have something to look forward to so as valentine's day falls on the sunday i think mitchell's going to be doing me dinner and doing like something nice and romantic hopefully it is and then on the saturday i'm going to host valentine's day too so we're both going to host valentine's day um mine on the saturday his on the sunday and obviously you guys know me i like to go all out of decor and whatever so yeah i'm going to get like a few balloons some rose petals to the table, cook a nice meal, might even get a takeaway because I think Mitchell's cooking on the Sunday. But yeah, I might be able to get out of the cooking actually and get a takeaway. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make up a real nice night. And oh, I also picked up this little quiz thing from Morrison's. They have a really good Valentine's Day range in too if you want to check that out. And it's just like a Mr and Mrs quiz and it was £2 so I thought we could play that. So yeah. That's my Valentine's Day stuff. Okay, moving on to the last few bits I picked up from Home Bargains. Um, obviously, it's not a Home Bargains visit without looking and having a little nosy in the food section. First up, I just picked up some Cadbury's hot chocolate. Now, I actually use this to sprinkle on top of my coffees. I always get so many questions like, what do you put inside of your coffee sprinkler? I literally just put this in there um, and it's so yummy. So yeah, that's what I picked up that for. Okay, and then the last food thing I picked up was this curry sauce mix. Now, I feel like I've seen this knocking around for ages. Every time I watch a Home Bargains haul, I always see it in there. Um, and every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I wonder what that tastes like because I love a Chinese style curry and that's what this is Chinese style medium curry sauce mix um, and then Hazel actually made a little like quick and easy lunch dish on her stories on Instagram the other day so she got some of the corn like smoky chicken pieces put on some basmati rice and then literally just 
made one of these sauces up, put it over like the fake chicken, and honestly, it looked so good. It literally looked like a katsu chicken curry with rice. So yeah, I thought I'd try that. I'll let you know how I get on. Really excited for that. Um, and then I also just picked up some bird seed. <laughs> As you guys know, I absolutely love taking care of all the wildlife in my area. I have a pheasant in my garden, um, squirrels that come, and also a lot of birds. I have two robins that are there every single day. And yeah, I just love feeding them. I just love... <laughs> I sound really old right now, don't I? Um, but yeah, I love my birds, guys. So I picked up some wild bird seed. That was only like one ninety nine. and you get a big bag too. So the fridge is about the one place left, apart from a couple of little goods, that needs fully organising in my kitchen. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you will have saw my kitchen organised video that I did last lockdown. If you haven't already watched that, I'll leave that link in the description bar so you can check that out. Oh my god, I literally went in. I ordered so much stuff from Amazon. Like, all of the storage containers went through all of my drawers and literally full on organised them and I love them. Like, there's nothing better than utilising space in your kitchen and also just opening your drawers and everything's all nicely organised and coordinated. It brings me so much joy. Um, so yeah, anyway, my fridge has been bugging me for a while. Oh, I just feel like everything always looks chucked in there and just not neat and not stacked nicely. So, I bought a a couple of bits from Home Bargains and then I bought a few bits from the range which I'm going to show you as well. Now Home Bargains do actually sell most of the stuff I got from the range in there too but I went to the range then Home Bargains so that's why I've got them there. <laughs> um, anyway the couple of bits I did get from Home Bargains was number one this fridge storage drawer. So it's just a little drawer that you attach to your shelf um, and yeah you can just put bits and bobs in there so I'm not too sure what I'm going to be putting in each thing yet but got that quite inexpensive then i picked up a fridge can storage um again it's just one of them dispensers where you put all your cans in of like diet coke or whatever your drink is and it just makes them look all aesthetically pleasing and nice and neat um this was like two pad by the way as i show you all of this make sure that if you are thinking about organizing your fridge do go to home bargains or the range and do not buy from amazon because honestly amazon for all this kind of stuff is like double the price i had a little look just out of curiosity how much these were on amazon and these can ones were like eight or nine pound whereas they're only i think like one to two pound in the range and home bargains so yeah definitely grab what you can from the range and home bargains and then if you need any other bits like i did then you can get them from amazon so i'll show you the bits i got from amazon too um and then i simply just picked up all of these boxes from the range and like i said again these were like a couple of pound i think the bigger ones might have been three pound but as i said previous they're so much cheaper than what they are on amazon so i got two large clear trays to begin with two smaller ones um then i got three of these which again are like medium size and then i also just got like a large one too so i just got quite an assortment i don't know if i'll be using them all in the fridge but these sorts of things are just so handy to organize cupboards with anyway so even if you don't buy them for your fridge i just think they're really inexpensive and a nice way to organize cupboards so they're what i got from the fridge from the range and then i also just got two things from amazon because i couldn't find these in either the range or home bargains um, and i really wanted an egg sort of like organized up so i can get rid of the cardboard put my eggs in here and they just look really nice and organized and the last thing i picked up from amazon it's quite big actually i didn't realize it was this big i'm hoping it does fit in my fridge and it's going to be okay um it's just simply a wine organizer so if you do love your wine and um, you store it in the fridge then yeah you can just stop them nice and neatly i think you might even be able to get pop in there too um if you don't drink wine but yeah got that as well they were quite expensive to be honest with you from amazon but I really wanted them. So yeah, anyway, that is everything I picked up from Home Bargains, guys. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm getting really jittery now because I've just been sat here drinking coffee, not yet had my lunch, and do you know when you start feeling like a bit lightheaded? Um, so anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.